This is Twit. Something I am surprised yet not surprised. Uh, you know, high end cooling, the really sophisticated stuff that you see at trade shows and at events where somebody's done this amazing neon day glow, you know, piping monstrosity of joy and wonder. Um, this is not the kind of stuff you find traditionally at your local Best Buy or even your local computer store. You're usually, you know, online searching and then doing a lot of fabrication. Uh, Corsair's Hydro X series uh, is trying to make custom cooling easier. There's a trade off. It's certainly not going to be the least expensive custom cooling you have. But if you take a look at these pictures, you know, you might be salivating with intense desire and wants, right? RGB yeah. lighting, of course, CPU blocks, GPU blocks, pumps, reservoirs, radiators, tubing fittings. Um, and I think a, a huge part of this is the custom cooling configurator. Design your own custom cooling loop with the Hydro X series. And... Uh, you know, you, you pick a case, you pick your motherboard, um, your CPU, your GPU, and you just keep working through this. And eventually, you get a recommended setup. And, uh, you know, according to your entered PC configuration, we've created an ideal Hydro X series custom cooling loop for your PC. Um, this is fun. <laughs> Yeah, as as you're talking, I'm going through with their their configurator, their custom cooling configurator right. on their website, and uh, I put in just you know a basic bill with some of the stuff I have here, and to do kind of a medium range cooling solution, it's over seven hundred dollars if you're buying everything because they they offer all the stuff, and if you're buying from them with this configurator, you need to order the parts. They'll they'll do the recommended parts. They'll do the required parts. If you're just going required, uh, I think the lowest I could come up with was just over six hundred dollars. But okay. EKWB, if you're in, you know, if you're in the world of liquid cooling, like custom loops, you know about them. EK Water Blocks, they have a similar system already. They have a website where you go and you can you configure a new loop. But their parts, at least the ones that are recommended by that configurator, are a little bit more expensive. So it, that sounds really, really high. Like six hundred dollars plus right. for a cooling system is very expensive, but custom cooling is not cheap. And right. EK Water Blocks, their solution when I ran it was around around a hundred dollars for the CPU block, and their GPU blocks were one fifty nine. The Corsair you know, I, blocks are seventy five to eighty dollars, and the GPU blocks are one forty to one fifty. So they're they're not overpriced. It's just that you put the total package together from scratch. It's not cheap. I mean, and, and we should point out that that in many cases, uh, unless you're doing some fairly obscene overclocking, you are not going to see a real performance advantage going with a liquid cooled system over an air cooled system. Um, no, no, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm also laughing because your six hundred dollar price seems pretty reasonable because the the setup I I, I worked out here with a single uh, GPU. Uh, rolls out to a, a nice steady eight hundred and eighty dollars and eighty two cents with one hundred and sixty dollars in fans. Oh, um, see, that's the key: <laughs> changing the fans from RGB to non RGB. In fact, that's where a lot of the price savings came from. I was turning off RGB where I could, and still, why would you? you know, in that seven hundred dollar <laughs> range. I know. I don't know why you would. I was just seeing how affordable it could be. But when I saw that number, like, well, this isn't affordable anyway. So if I'm spending seven hundred, why not spend eight fifty? And get like you know more capabilities. Get an ex throw an extra rad in there. Make everything you know <laughs> rainbow effect. And it, it kind of depends on your case too. They ask you what case you have, and because this right. is Corsairs, they're asking you which Corsair case you have, of course. But if you're starting from scratch with one of their like Crystal series or one of the you know carbide cases with lots of glass, and you want to really show off your system and you've seen like overclocking and right. you've seen like, you know, the YouTube videos and the stuff about the custom, the mods, the hard tubing, all that stuff. And they have hard tubing available too, if you want to do that. But you know, it's, it's a easier, more accessible way of at least putting together a kit to do this yourself and have one of those amazing looking systems. Like the systems on this product page look unbelievable. 
Like they're right. incredibly clean, beautiful lighting. You don't see a cable anywhere. It would take a lot of work to to match what they have on the page, but it's certainly doable. And I don't know, like that amount of money coupled with, of course, whatever you're combining it with. So if you're doing a Core i9 9900K with I, I picked the RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition card, which is somewhere around $1,300, I think, eleven to $1,300. These are not inexpensive builds, not inexpensive cooling, but like you said, put a big air cooler on your CPU. And unless you are doing... Bucks. Yeah, <laughs> and, unless you're doing serious overclocking, you are not going to see a real-world impact because the CPU will be running well within its thermal spec, boosting happily along. And especially if you put a bigger heat sink on. Like I, I like heat sinks in that like fifty to sixty dollar range and up. I've seen really impressive stuff from Scythe, from Be Quiet, from of course Noctua, but these are coolers that are very, very hard to hear because the fans are spinning at very low speeds and they're relying on the size of the the uh, heat sink. But tower air cooling is very hard to beat. I think where this really gets interesting is GPUs. Because right. you know something like the Radeon Seven, they don't have a Radeon Seven block yet. Their only AMD block is for the Vega sixty four, so I'm sure that'll be updated. But you know those are not quiet. The Radeon Seven is over fifty decibels under load. So if you're worried about noise, you could pair some extremely low uh, RPM or very very quiet fans with radiators and do a custom loop. And that was one of the appeals of the custom loop back in the day. Get away from those screaming. 60, 80, and 92 millimeter CPU fans. Right. And in that generation, it was going underwater was the only way to have a totally silent build. And that's changed a lot with a lot of these bigger cooling solutions that use, you know, 30 decibel whisper quiet fans. But it's still, there's, there's nothing cooler looking to me than I go to these shows and the booths always have incredible custom cooling loops because that's how you showcase your parts, whether it's memory or cases or motherboards or whatever it is. They always have custom loops. And in the last few years, it's always been just RGB everything. And it looks fantastic through a tinted side glass panel. So <laughs> not that you're excited. No, not at all. I'm, I'm, I'm calming down. It's okay. <laughs> 